Hello, welcome back to the workshop. Utterly fantastic to have you here again today. So of course, as you saw in last episode, in part one of making 70 hammers or so, I have a whole load of hammer orders to fill. Today, I'm going to be doing a little more work on them. I'm going to be center punching holes and then punching holes on the hydraulic press. So thank you very much for joining me. Looking forward to bringing you along with this fantastic day. I'm now gonna light the forge and I'm gonna get it super hot and I'm gonna start throwing in my steel. I'm gonna have four pieces of steel in there at a, at a time so that as I put one in, I can always take one out with as few breaks as possible. Okay, so the forge is cranking, it's nice and hot. I'm about ready to put some steel in it. I'm gonna be working on my 25 ton hydraulic press today. So I just have to install this punch under here and then I have to get a stripper. I said that wrong. Not that kind of stripper, this kind of stripper. Um, and that's gonna sit there and this is so that when the punch goes down and it sticks, you then lift it back up and the hot piece of steel falls off. You don't. Yeah. Anyway, let's do some work. So here's my setup for punching. This is a very primitive setup. Whenever I was punching round stock before, I had a jig specifically for the size of the stock, and it'd go in and it'd be fine. But it'd take a long time to set up, and it eventually broke. So I resort to this. This requires a little more effort on my part. But for the small numbers of units that I've been making since the other jig broke, it's I've not found it to be worth the time to make a really nice jig. So instead, it means I sacrifice a few more seconds using this. This all needs to go in there, and then through that, and then back in a pile there. the footage showed you what just happened. First hole, I cracked my stripper bars. I really don't think there's gonna be any work around for how weird it sounds to me to call these stripper bars or stripping plate, uh, whatever it is you wanna call it. It's gonna sound awkward and you guys are gonna comment about it, which is fine. So that's weird because I've done dozens of sledgehammers with that. I've done so much work with that one, you know, that one, you know, pretty, Pretty hacked together tool, and it's now breaks on the first heat. That's pretty funny. So now I have to think about a design for a new one where this hopefully won't happen again. Thank you. 
have some. Um, I've actually never changed the welding wire on this. Oh wait, no, I think it came without it attached. So I, I should theoretically know how to do this. I've done it before. Uh, but the welding wire box is, is, is over here. So uh, here it goes. Ah. Go on, legs. I got the box. It was a Murphy's Law kind of day. I started the day, it was great. I ran some errands, uh, that, was, that was very good, ran some errands, did that kind of stuff, did some kind of business stuff, that, you know, just gotta get done. And then I started center punching holes on hammers, as you saw, and that went great. Center punched a whole load of holes, perfect. I like the forge, a ton on the press, make sure it's nice and warm and ready to go. Punch, give the, I give the punch a little bit of a dressing, you didn't, you didn't see me do that. And then, yes, the first of the 70 to 80 holes. And the two breaks, like immediately. And that thing's done a load of holes, and it only just breaks. Okay, it's fine. You know, it's, 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 it's not that big of a deal. Let's make up something new. And goodness gracious me, Murphy's Law has been here all day. Everything's gone wrong that could go wrong. But it's been really good fun. Um, it's... <laughs> I, 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 the, the, the people that have been watching my stream on Twitch can attest. I've been smiling my whole way through this because it, it's still pretty funny to have to... <laughs> to be so close to finishing this project and the welding wire runs out. Like, that's comedy gold, at least for me. And, yeah, no, it was still a good day. So thank you very much for watching this video. Um, I, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow on the next episode. We're gonna get all these holes punched tomorrow in part three of making 70 hammers. Thank you for watching, I'll see you soon. Be sure to hit these videos right here so that you watch something that hopefully, right here, go watch a video that has a little more success and then hit subscribe and then I'll see you tomorrow.